about YouTube, today I will be doing a review on two HP Pavilion laptops. The first one is the DV6 and the second one is the G6. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the specification of both of the laptops. The first one comes with a 320 gigabyte hard drive, whereas the second one over here comes with a 700 gigabyte hard drive. The first one only has a 3 gigabyte RAM, whereas the second one, which is the newer one, has the 6 gigabyte RAM. The first one, which is nearly 3 years old now, because I bought it quite a while back, is still performing pretty well, whereas the brand new one is performing extremely well, but obviously, you know, they're brand new, blah, 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 blah. The first, both of these laptops come with a 15.6 inch screen, and also a very stylish and very fast. Okay, so now I've opened up both of the laptops, as you can see. And the first one here has the extra keypad on the side there, whereas the newer one, the uh, G6, does not. The positioning of the mouse is, well, more centralised on the uh, G6, whereas the DV6 is more to the left, which is better positioning for your hands when using it. Okay, so the DV6 comes with the two USB ports here, disk drive, and over onto the other side, we have got the VGA, we've got SD card, we've got our two more USB ports over here, a lot, sorry, one USB port, my bad, HDMI, and an Ethernet socket. Over on the G6, we have basically the same with the HDMI Ethernet cable, two USB ports, then you've got your audio and microphone slots here with the SD memory card. And over on this side comes the one USB port and disk drive there. The on the DV6 to find your microphone and speaker ports they are right here on the front of the laptop whereas they're obviously as I said on the okay, side now we're easy. going to do a test on the startup speed of the both computers by turning them on at the exact same time just put the camera down for a second two one go both started at the exact same time oh. So the G6 is already ahead. With the DV6, the battery has really run down and I have to have it on charge constantly to use it now, but I've been using it constantly for three years. So I'll probably have to push enter in a second. Oh, no, I didn't need to. Okay, so the DV6 is now taken ahead of the G6 and reach the starting screen first hopefully oh no here we go the G6 was straight onto its desktop whereas the DV6 is still loading bearing in mind that the DV6 is well over 200 gigabytes of hard drive used on it whereas the G6 barely has 50 used as it's been bought for about a week now so, yeah, that's all fully loaded, pretty quick, no other desktop items to upload and load up and all that crap. And on the DV6 it's still loading, still got things like MSN to load at the bottom and Skype, which probably will take another 20-30 seconds maybe, depending. Okay, so quite clearly the G6 wins the startup speed. Okay, so the keyboard's quite spaced out, each letter. I find it quite difficult to type with, but you get used to it after a while. I mean, sometimes I make mistakes whilst typing. Uh, I mean, with the backspace button over here, it seems quite big, and there's the extra key on the pause button there for some reason. I don't know why that is on there. So on the DV6. The keyboard is very well spaced and a lot easier to type on. And 
clearly I find it a lot easier on the DV6 rather than the G6 but then reviews do come down to a matter of opinion whereas I have been using the DV6 for the last three years so in overall conclusion the DV6 might still be a three year old laptop but it is running very smooth very fast and efficient whereas the new G6 is running a lot quicker which is to be expected of a brand new laptop and in all the performance tests done the G6 clearly wins that and that is the end of my review. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much.